everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. If you're my age or older, you may just remember a brand called Delius. The pronunciation is open to interpretation, whether you want to call it Delius or Delias or Delias or Dolores or... Delilah. When Dolls Kill sent me an email a couple of weeks ago asking me if I wanted to review their Delius collab, I was so excited because I actually recognised the brand. I recognised Delius because of this little logo. It's just ingrained into my primary school brain. In 1999, I was in kindergarten, and the late 90s to early 2000s were the heyday for this brand Delius. You know the memes that say, 13 year olds then versus 13 year olds now. Well, Delius was basically the fashion nova of the early 2000s. You know, when clothing catalogues were actual pieces of paper and your wish list was a physical list. You know those things called pens? I mean, I haven't used one in a long time, but I do remember them. You'd take a pen, you'd open your Delius catalog, and you would circle the things that you wanted. Then, when you were ready to buy the things you wanted, you could either go in store, you know, like, like a physical store, or you could call 1-800-DELIA-NEW-YORK. I'm not kidding. I know, kids, don't get scared. They were dark and difficult times. Aren't you glad you live in a day and age where you don't have to interact with anyone in person for any reason at all, thanks to the internet? Delius was the sort of brand that early 2000s fashion icon Lizzie McGuire was wearing. You see, Lizzie McGuire aired from 2001 to 2004. Lizzie was 13 in 2001 and I was 8. She was 5 years older than me and 5 times cooler. I wanted to dress like her, but I wasn't old enough. And then by the time I was old enough, her style had gone out of fashion. There was a lot of flowers on the clothes and you'd pair them with butterfly clips, chokers, sparkly light up sketches. Kids in America were wearing Delius clothes to middle school while us Australians were sobbing into our potato sack uniforms. Poor old Delius went bankrupt after a while, closed their doors and stepped aside to make room for stores like uh, Forever 21 and Topshop. So who better than a brand like Dolls Kill to help Delius make a comeback in 2018? So like I said, I got an email from Dolls Kill asking if I wanted to make a video about this collection. I'm just really, really excited to have the chance to live out my childhood fashion dreams and dress myself like a 13 year old, even though I'm 25. So that's enough of a history lesson, let's get into the unboxing. Oh my god. <laughs> this box literally looks like a Skittles advertisement. Taste the rainbow. Unif is quaking over this collab. There are 70 pieces in this limited edition collection. Now, I'm not entirely sure what they've sent me, but... But everything they've sent me is a size small. And in my experience, dolls kill... Whoa! And in my experience, dolls kill tends to run a little bit small. So here's hoping this stuff actually fits me. Now keep in mind, the key demographic for Delius was a preteen kids. So if you go leaving a comment like, mm, you're too old to be wearing those clothes, you can slap on your Captain Obvious hat, sit down and be quiet, because this is a throwback. The whole point of this collection is that it's inspired by the pre-teen fashion of the late 90s to the early 2000s. Some of these clothes might look like they're for kids, but they come in adult sizes, so really, there's no rules here. So the first thing. Ah. Wow. This top is the epitome of the Delius brand. See this flower? This flower is literally ingrained into my brain, partially from PTSD because the older kids at school were probably wearing clothes like this and uh, they bullied me a lot. This is a $25 t-shirt. I kind of think for Dolls Kill, that's actually pretty good. Like, Dolls Kill is normally quite a pricey website, so $25 for a limited edition t-shirt is not too bad. It's quite a small t-shirt, it is a size small, but it looks like it's purposely cut off small. So it's not a cropped t-shirt, but it's kind of in between. And I'm gonna pair this with this skirt. This is a $32 skirt, and it's made of that kind of PVC material. A little bit of a problem I've been trying to overcome lately is, uh, I never really leave the house for any reason and the only time I ever put on nice clothes is if I'm going to take a selfie in the mirror. So a lot of the time I'm guilty of reviewing clothes based on how Instagrammable they are and not necessarily how wearable they are. So I'm going to try and overcome that. I'm going to put this on and see whether it rides up when I walk and uh, you know how just how short it is, whether it will show my bum in the real world versus just walking around my apartment. So let's try this on. 
can you go up there? Ah. Hey, hi. Hey, hi. Well, there are pros and cons for how tight this skirt is. The pro being, it is so tight that when you walk it doesn't ride up, it doesn't move at all. The cons, well, it's not particularly flattering. <laughs> I feel like I'm reliving the 2000s wearing this. The t-shirt is very cute. I feel like a very, very simple plain white tee like this. with It's got this kind of like textured flower and the flower has a little tiny bit of sparkle in it and a little bit of green too. So I love the t-shirt and for 20 something dollars, I reckon this one, you know, if you're happy to spend a bit of money on a plain white t-shirt, this is very, very cute. The skirt, I recommend maybe sizing up. This outfit in general, in terms of Instagram, very Instagrammable outfit, in terms of wearability, I think if I was out in public, I would feel kind of uncomfortable wearing this skirt just because I'd be like, oh, don't, don't look at me. T-shirt though, I do love the T-shirt. So let's try this T-shirt on with one of the next items, which is this insane pair of pants. These pants are $58. Now that's a lot. Hi. I'm very lucky that Dolls Kill sent me these for free because I probably wouldn't spend that sort of money on a pair of PVC pants. So here they are. They're, I don't think that they're going to be quite long enough on me. They're going to cut off sort of at my ankle, but I guess that's part of the trend. The shade of this and the fabric, this is probably the sort of stuff that Jeffree Star throws his garbage out in. So let's try these on with this top. Oh my God, but they're not going over my thighs. No. Ugh. This next top is $28. Just from looking at it in the bag, I'm getting some major Care Bear vibes. Okay, that is my aesthetic. That is so cute. See this, see this right here, this little logo. This is what is etched into my memory, this logo. I remember seeing it on bags and on tops and on pants and everything. That logo right there is an iconic symbol from the 2000s. Here it is. I love it. 110% I love it. If you're gonna get one thing from this collection, get this. This really, really cute blue color with the rainbows. Oh, it is so nice. This is a $28 top. I definitely recommend it. I feel like because of this hemline here, this is going to roll. It, it isn't like a finished hemline, if that makes sense. Because it's not finished, I kind of feel like that this actually might roll up a little bit, which is a bit unfortunate. Like, the more that you wear it, the more it'll start to curl. I have seen that before when I've worn clothes like this. But hey, there's enough length here that if it curls up a little bit, it's not going to show too much, so you're okay. This is my favorite thing for sure. I love it. You don't need to be in the 2000s to wear something like this. This sort of thing, it's, it's fresh. It's good and fresh. <laughs> Sorry, Archie. Ugh, jeez. Yeah. This next top is also $28, and uh, I literally feel like I'm doing a Skittles brand deal right now. Look, Archie. Look, it has Archie colors. Oh my God. Look, red, like under Archie's wings. Yellow, like the tip of Archie's beak. Green, just like Archie. Blue, like the little under fluffies over here, and purple for Mumba. This one is again $28. You don't get very much fabric for $28, but this does look super cute. I'm very excited to try this, and so is Archie! Yee! very cute. Once again, Skittles. If you uh, can't afford a top like this, look, just, just go down to a lolly shop, buy a couple of bags of Skittles, stick them all together. Ah! It's ah! basically the same thing. Now, it's not too tight across here, which is nice, but I'm very flat chested, so... <laughs> I'm flat chested, but if you are big breasted, then ah! you might have to size ah! up in this. you may find that this could be a little bit tight. So I feel like these sort of things where it's, you know, quite elasticy, 
potentially size up just to give yourself a little bit more of a comfortable experience but this is like one of my favorites I do actually really really love this I'm getting like major Wonder Woman vibes from this like Gal Gadot is quaking Ugh. okay take note if you have a bum of any sort size up I get it. Seeing as we're looking at the things with rainbows, let's have a look at this puffer jacket. The colours on this puffer jacket look almost the same as the rainbow sleeves here, but I can see there's some orange on here. There's no... Oh, there is orange. Ah! So out of all 70 items in this collection, this is the most expensive. This is $88, which is... That's a spare bit. I kind of feel a bit like a Michelin man that's just stepped off a pride float. This is very warm. I've had this on for literally like two seconds and I'm sweating. So this for you guys overseas, it is summer, coming into summer here. But if you're overseas and it's cold where you are, you might like this. We have pockets, which is, you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, pockets are very, very important. I did get a similar puffer jacket like this from Boohoo, if you guys saw that Pride collection. I think that was a fair bit cheaper than this, but this is Delius branded. So if you're all about paying extra just because something has a name on it, then definitely go for this one. It does feel like it's very well made. I do quite like the length of it. It's not too short, it's not too long. It's very, very, very warm, very bright, loud, obnoxious. Feel like a, a lifesaver. Ah. I don't know if you could go skiing with this, I don't know if it would be waterproof, but I would totally be tempted to because I'm terrible at skiing. If I fell and flew off the edge of a mountain, at least they'd be able to spot me easily. Ah, okay, this is difficult, difficult. Oh, oh. Ah, we only have two more things. Here are these uh, famous Delius flowers again. This mesh top is $22. Oh, oh dear. Things are about to go from PG to M real fast. I like to think of my subscribers as my friends and family, but we're about to get a hell of a lot closer as soon as I put this on. So we're getting very, very close today. I feel like you guys are about to know me a hell of a lot better because, uh, woo! <laughs> Now I am wearing a nude bra under this, but I do feel like if you had a black bralette that'd be a little bit more appropriate. I love the long sleeves on this one, and this is only $22. I feel like this is one of the cheapest things that I've tried on today, and it's actually one of my favourites. I mean, I know I don't really wear black, but if you're the sort of person that loves to wear black clothing, and uh, you don't mind a little bit of hanky-panky, then definitely go for this one. This is so cute. The flowers are literally the, the epitome of the 1990s, early 2000s, you know, middle school. I mean, you wouldn't go wearing something like this to middle school, but the flowers you would. Ah! I feel like this is actually very nice paired with this skirt. I think that I would probably go for maybe high-waisted jeans. Oh, you're right. What? Don't judge me. I'm sorry. I love there's these little tiny frilly bits on the sleeves, the way that they frill out like that. It is so cute. And uh, yes, that's a green flower. Wow. This is probably my second favorite piece. <coughs> yeah, I think this is my second favorite piece. I think that the Care Bears top was my favorite. And I think that this is my second favorite. <coughs> I, you're not a good boy. <coughs> and last but not least, in exactly the same print, we have a baby doll dress. This dress is $38. <coughs> I don't like the fabric straight away. This is really cheap feeling fabric. Feels a little bit like maybe a, a picnic cloth or, you know, just like a piece of linen kind of thing. I don't like the fabric at all. But the print, just like this top that I'm wearing, the print is very, very cute. Let's give it a go. Okay, here it is. This dress is very cute. This is a baby doll style dress. It's not as fitted as I would like. I prefer things to be a little bit more cinched in around the waist, but you can always wear a belt or something, or just appreciate how free flowing that this is. I totally feel like a kindergarten teacher right now. <laughs> like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the fabric, but if you really, really like the way that it looks, then you would probably get over the fabric. It just feels a little bit cheap, but the design is so lovely. You know what though? 
I do have a bone to pick with Dolls Kill. I am so sick of these unrealistic body standards that they are setting for young women. I mean, just take one look at the image of the model that they've used for this dress. You see that? The splits. Unrealistic body standards. How am I supposed to do that? Okay. Mm. Oh my god. No, I can't. Wait. There's nothing that Photoshop can't fix. It's it's fine. It's fine. And it, hips, hands on hips, right? Hands on hip. Uh, look up, like directly up. Now, angle to the right, and tilt your head the other direction. But keep looking off to the right. So rotate, rate, rotate your entire head off to the right. Yep. And then look up with straight eyes. Ow. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> struggle, now that I'm in them, they're not uncomfortable at all. It's just kind of like wearing a glove. I am dreading trying to get myself out of these though. Well, from the back, not really doing my legs any favours. Kind of feel like one of those uh, dogs with the rolls. Not the biggest fan. I don't think I'm going to wear these again. I feel like you have to have a very specific sort of figure to pull these sort of pants off because they really, really cling to absolutely everything. Loving the colour, it is very, very Jeffree Star pink. I don't know if I would feel comfortable wearing these out in public because of how uh, they're doing that whole situation at the back there. I'm not such a fan. And also they're $58. So look, unless you've been looking for a pair of pants like this your entire life, and I, I, you know, unless you're Jeffree Star, I don't think that you would have been. But unless you've been looking for these forever, I, I don't really recommend them. Ah! But, because I got them for free, I'm gonna hang on to them and I, I might even wear them. I'll wear them in some photo shoots and stuff like that, but yeah, don't really recommend that you pick these ones up. Well guys, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. If you like birds, you should definitely subscribe because the bird is in all of my videos. I have a pretty good relationship with Dolls Kill, so if there's any items that you want to see me review, I can just send them an email, they can send me the items, where we have a good thing going on. So if you have any items that you want to know about, drop them down below. Also, if you have any other brands that you want me to review, please let me know. I'm always looking for fun brands to review in haul videos. Are you right? Yes, they are flowers. No, you can't eat them. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram, it's Pretty Pastel Please. You can also follow me on Twitter, it's Pretty Pastel PLS. Yes, you, you can also find Archie on Instagram, and it's Archie Eclectus. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mwah!